we're back. Hello. Cheers. Oh, that is a nice sound. That was a good ching, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry we've been absent for a few weeks, but we've been a little bit distracted with weddings and getting through Birmingham and getting on top of boat painting. And it just took our minds away from videoing yeah, for a little while. So, But there's nothing wrong. Thank you for all your comments. Sorry to keep you waiting, but we're back. We are. And uh, the last vlog uh, showed us coming back into the water, having had part painted the boat. And uh, since then, we've travelled from Stafford to Wolverhampton, into Birmingham. We spent a few nights in Birmingham. And then we've come. I love the way you say that. Birmingham. It's not Birmingham. 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 <laughs> and then we've come down the Stratford and Avon Canal to Wooten Wowen. And that's where we uh, had the wedding, my brother's daughter. Congratulations, Mark and, and Hayley. Cheers to them, yes. So we've uh, been a bit quiet. We've just uh, done our own thing, really, haven't we? We've enjoyed just uh, chilling, relaxing. I have to just say, the video editing is quite, it takes quite a long time. Rich works really hard on it and i think it's been really good just to have a little bit of a holiday not that we don't like doing it we love it but when you've got family stuff going on as well yes. you could just concentrate on what you needed to be concentrating for yeah. but um yeah we're back in the right place again now aren't we so we are so we've got a fair bit of footage of birmingham for you to see um so what's going to happen next is uh we are going back into birmingham <laughs> Because there's a couple of things we want to do like the art gallery and the library and the library and maybe see another concert and uh, then through to Wolverhampton and don't take any notice of what people will sell the bad press about being in Birmingham you know us we don't like towns but it was good it was a Great. really good place to stay fantastic um, no problems a little bit of noise but you expect that from a city um, but it's so good that we're happy yeah. to go back for a couple of days. Whichever so. direction you're travelling into Birmingham, just get into the central Birmingham and the moorings are fantastic. Yeah. The facilities are great. Yeah. And uh, there's so much to see and do there. Yeah. And I'll I was really, really impressed that the, the, the amount of litter wasn't a problem, was it? Compared no. with L when we were in London, you know, it was. Uh, really well looked after it's the canals very of clean, yeah, very it's good. tidy it's fine yeah so we you know we'll show you what footage we've got and there will be some more to come as we go back through and we're going a little bit back on our tracks again now for almost 70 miles i think yeah. all the way back up to etruria etruria yeah um a slightly different different route but still going back through birmingham so we'll be filming again um and then We'll be on new ground yeah, for the so first time for a long, long while, and we can't wait. I know. We're going up back to Etruria, uh, the junction with the Colden Canal, and uh, heading north to Yorkshire. And there is one or two ways we can go, but we've decided which way is, which way we're going to go. So we'll let you know in later vlogs. So uh, rumours of our demise have been greatly <laughs> exaggerated, <laughs> and uh, we're back. And, and the boat is, I don't know if you can yeah, see can it see actually, the boat, there in the back the boat is there half painted now, um, so we've done really well. And while we've been sitting here filming, um, a, a boat has gone through with somebody's 30th birthday party yeah. on board. So thank you if you watch you guys, because they filled my wine glass up for <laughs> yeah. me, because we operated gave me the a lock. Beer. We did the lock for them as they came yeah. through, so uh, thank you if you're watching. <laughs> So thanks for all your nice comments and uh, your concerns about where we've been. We haven't been anywhere. We're still here. Hope and, you uh, enjoy the footage of Birmingham. Oh, sorry. Yeah, carry on. Hope you enjoy the footage of Birmingham and um, a little bit of our cruising and what we've been getting up to. And uh, we'll be back soon. Cheers.
lock number three of the Wolverhampton locks. So we've done 18, 19, I think. And uh, yeah, it's a bit tedious now. We've had enough. So hopefully it won't be too far before we can find somewhere tomorrow up at the end. We'll see. We're almost in Wolverhampton now. And I don't know what it is, but the water is so clear here. You expect that in the middle of cities and towns, the water quality is, you know, not very good. There's still lots of litter around, but it is so clear whether it's because we've had so much rain or whether it's um, the factory outlets are feeding it with wastewater, I don't know, but absolutely crystal clear. one behind it's the last lock of the day and uh, only two of them have been in our favor so while Fran's coming up in the lock I'm just having a quick recce see what the mooring situation's like we're right in the middle of Wolverhampton which is a busy industrial town of the past so uh, as you can see there's a mooring spot over there which doesn't look too bad that boat was behind us this morning when we left. So, 21 locks, I'm feeling I've had enough now. Uh, just uh, get the kettle on. All we've had for lunch is an apple and some cheesy biscuits. So I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. Looks like there's some mooring just after this bridge on the right hand side. This is Broad Street. Yeah, there's the facilities there. There's uh, our sand point and rubbish, which we'll visit tomorrow. So yeah, I think we'll settle for Morning in the basin, right in front of the lock. It looks a bit greener, the dogs can run around and uh, a bit more pleasant surroundings than behind. So after 21 locks, she's still got it. Yeah, but look, I can do it one handed. <laughs> oh, she's got the swing of it now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we've got to do two circuits before the pub. There's little contraptions everywhere around here.
just coming up to Coesley Tunnel now on our way into Birmingham. You will see on the front of the boat we have our faithful torch <laughs> because when we were painting the front of the boat in the boatyard took the cratch board down along with all the electrics and we haven't got the torch or the lamp back up yet but it is only a very short tunnel I think isn't it yeah so although I can't see the end it's because it's on a bend oh going in he's on the bend we've only met one boat two boats all day so I think it's very unlikely we're going to meet anybody but we're going to make do with our flashlight yeah you say make that do house with our up there yeah you say make do with our flashlight but this is brighter than the uh, torch at the front of the boat it's a very good little torch if anybody's interested <laughs> charges up on a on uv i was going to say on um, usb, USB. <laughs> and it's a, a warning light a lamp a torch everything so here we go will it cook my breakfast no but i will and there's the end of the tunnel already so i don't think we need to worry about um anything coming the other way Ugh, it's wet. <laughs> well, that was a bit different to Froggle Tunnel, wasn't it? So tall, such a high tunnel. Yeah, it must be about 15 feet high. <laughs> and it was supposed to be haunted. Yeah. But aren't all the tunnels? Only, the only haunting thing I heard in there was your singing. You have to sing in a tunnel, don't you? <laughs> Apparently so. Well, it's the only place for me to sing. So that's the beginning of the factory branch, I think it's called, of the canal, which is like a straight run through into Birmingham. We're going on what I believe is the older stretch. It's a little bit more meandering, but we thought it might be a bit more interesting. But it's deserted and it's... um. It's a real shame, isn't it? When you think how busy this would have been in years gone by. Yeah. And okay, it's not the prettiest of surroundings, but there are two boats all day we've seen. And it's like going through a ghost town, isn't it? It is. It is. But they uh, keep having to stop the boat and thrust it in reverse because of the weed. You show them the, the weed in the canal here. It's crystal clear. And we're surrounded by some wharfs and old buildings that have been obviously converted and renewed. Some are just left to wreck and ruin. But I find it really quite a sad place, really. It might be sadder in a minute if we get more stuff around that, <laughs> around that propeller. But here we go. It's the problem. The weed is growing almost up to the surface of this canal. And uh, you can see bits of chopped up weed going behind us as the propeller's cutting through it. We're beginning to wonder whether we should have taken the uh, main line through. It might be clearer. But ahead, it looks like some boats have been cutting through. We're committed now, really, so I think we'll just have to see how it goes. Fortunately, we renewed our rescue this morning with RCR, so if anything does happen, we can get them out to come and get us. That's uh, the M5 motorway we're going under. Someone's got a good scaffolding contract. Wow. These, look at this. This endless miles of industry is just getting a bit boring now for me.
an hour ago having said this is the cleanest canal we've ever seen things have changed dramatically and it has now become the filthiest canal we've ever seen. <laughs> it's just bizarre. It's a day of contradiction. It's just an oil slick isn't it? It is filthy. Well, this is amazing going under the M5 motorway. It's been uh, really interesting, we've enjoyed it. But the amount of scaffolding hanging from it is just incredible. So I don't know what they're doing, they're obviously treating the concrete up there or something. But um, yeah, really interesting. It's not countryside though, is it? It's not countryside, no. There aren't any sheep and cows, are there? No. And then suddenly from that to this, you would think you're back in the countryside. But we're about two miles from the centre of Birmingham, France, something um, like that. Three, three miles. Three and a half, yeah. So we've been looking at the map, looking online as to where to go in Birmingham to moor up. Still none the wiser, are we? So we Is don't it, know where we're going to end up in Oozle the end. Street Loop or something? I don't yeah, know. Oozle Street Loop. So no doubt we'll find somewhere. We always do, don't we? And uh, I think it's going to be interesting. It's Birmingham's become a very cosmopolitan town since I was uh, a child there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've got nothing to say, I've got nothing to add, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to it, to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it as well. I know that two days time we all just be itching, we'll bomb out. I know, we'll um, just get out I think of we've there. got, if we find a nice place to moor for a couple of days, I think we've then got quite a long day to get out of town again in a lot of yeah, locks. Yeah. So we intend after a couple of days in the, in the city we want to go and see a classical music concert. There's lots of free lunchtime concerts. Um, it's a good time that we can leave the dogs for an hour during the middle of the day so we're going to try and get a concert, maybe art gallery, visit yeah. some family and um, then we're going to have one long day just to get out because I know that we'll need fresh air again then. So. 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 Cut. All this Norfolk reed. There's a lot of junk in this tunnel. I just think it's uh, plastic bottles and footballs by the looks of it. from our attire <laughs> it's turned rather grizzly it was really warm the sun this morning and sunny and summer dress weather this morning really? yeah no, not for you <laughs> <laughs> so we got about a 
mile and a half to do now to Birmingham so uh, looking forward to putting our feet up now because we've been going 12 miles and it's a long day isn't it? Yeah we're getting all the smells of the Indian food factories coming yeah. up now. <laughs>